Hey there, welcome to Rebel Resource. Today's video, we are gonna be going through how to um, create your own deck online. You might be gearing up to go to pre-release, you might be building your first deck for the first time. Um, and pre-release rules are a bit different, you have to build a smaller deck. But maybe after you're looking to figure out how do I actually start to build my own deck, um, as product won't even come out for another week after that. And there's actually quite a few resources online that are very, very high quality that you can build a deck. The first one is StarWarsUnlimited.com. This is the Star Wars Unlimited website and by Fantasy Flight Games. And they actually have a card database here already where you can build a deck. It is a bit buggy, so I'm just gonna reference it. I'm not going to use it uh, for this video. You can make an account. I would highly suggest you do make an account. Um, you can even like start adding cards to your collection. You can start building decks. The problem is it's a little glitchy right now from my just in my own experience, I've had some issues and I know that they're still working on it. For example, if you go to the featured deck section, it just says coming soon. There's really nothing here uh, on this tab. And I think they're still kind of building this out. You can even see the overview sections kind of empty right now. Um, you know, I don't have any decks right now, but this, it's all looking really good. And I think as time moves on, this will this will actually become a much higher quality to use. And so I would highly recommend you do go, do go make an account because I could see this eventually being something um, where you can check your your tournament records and things like that, um, which is really exciting that they're they're creating something that's integrated. The other main site is SWUDB, um, codenamed SWUDB by the community. Um, it is a similar to Scryfall, and I'll just take a look. This is actually a premier Magic the Gathering website. Scryfall is a powerful Magic the Gathering card search. It has its own syntax um, where you can search up, you know, use these different uh, short, short keys or short uh, search terms to search up key things in the game, like card types, power toughness, um, mana cost, and things like that. Um, and it also has, you know, I think you can go to like a random card here. You can see all the prints and the tokens that are associated with the card. You can look at it in different languages. What sets, formats is it legal in? The oracle text of the card. Where can you buy it at other top websites? And so SwooDB is essentially going to become that, if not already that. Um, you can see that they have their own syntax here for Star Wars Unlimited. Uh, this is pretty advanced. You don't really need to know this though because they also have a handy dandy form search where you can just search for what you want. I want to look at all the red cards. I want to see the cost equal to one, right? And you can do a search and you can see every card in the game that has red in its color and costs one. And so very, very powerful tool. There's only one set right now, but as more sets come out for this game in 2024, I think they're slated to have three um, three expansions to the game, or three sets. Uh, so there's a base set that's coming out, the first set, Spark of Rebellion. And then as you can see, there's gonna be Shadows of the Galaxy and then Twilight of the Republic. Um, yeah, Q3 2024. So it does look like um, all, all three of these sets will come out in the first year, which is exciting. Um, and they even have like mini sets here. Here are the tokens, store showdown cards, pre-release promos, event promos. Here's the organized play cards. These are the cards that have like alternate frames, potentially alternate arts. Really, really cool. Um, and you get these for playing at your local game store. And I'm really loving that Sabine art. And I really love that Death Star, Storm, Death Star Stormtrooper. That's just excellent, excellent art. That Greedo is really cool too. Um, and that's a rare actually. So they actually changed the rarity on some of those. Great, so why is this the better deck builder? Why is this a better resource? Not only is it a card search, um, you can actually build a deck. So you're gonna wanna make an account. It's, you know, e email address, username, password. Um, and you can actually go to the My Deck section in the top corner here. And you'll see a little button here. I have some decks already made, but you can click on new deck. And what's so powerful about this is that it's a WYSIWYG editor or wizard. And so, um, Zatanna, that's funny. Uh, test two, so it just, you can choose if it's private or, or if it's unlisted, so it'd be public or searchable. And it takes you through this sort of one step at a time. So you pick your leader, let's say we're gonna pick Leia, we're gonna pick Kestro City as the base, right? 
and it automatically pre-sorts all the colors. So red, green, and white, or um, command, heroism, and aggression. And it shows you every card in the game already that is playable. Um, and there's a lot of cards in the first set. There's 252 cards in the first set. So um, in Constructed, your deck size is 50 cards. So you can just start adding three copies, two copies, one copy to your deck. Let's say you wanna add three copies of this. You wanna add one copy of this into the sideboard. So here it is. You click on this little button right here to move it to your sideboard. Your sideboard could be 10 cards in Star Wars Unlimited. And you can also look at stats, like what's the math? Like what's the ratio of cards? What kind of aspect ratio do I have? Cards by rarity, is my deck gonna be expensive when the set comes out, right? Um, you can even draw a random six cards and see, hey, what am I gonna draw? What happens if I draw two more on turn two? This is what I can expect to see. You can mulligan, right? And so it also has a history of all, if you, once you publish this deck, you'll start to see all of the history of changes made to the deck. You can add a description for yourself or for the public. Um, and you can just completely make a deck. Um, besides making your own deck, there's also a hot deck section so you can see what other people are playing in the community and it has sort of a virality. So let's go take a look at Ghost Crew. It has 35 hearts. I've hearted it. It has a really nice, great description. It has comments from other people in the community um, on this site. And so very, very cool. And you can see it's a 50 card deck with a 10 card sideboard. And what's truly amazing about this is just the power behind this. Not only is it visual and really easy to build your deck and add cards to a deck, you can do something like this. You can click this button right here to generate a dynamic image that is shareable, you can save it, copy it, you can um, even send this QR code to somebody. And this is an image of the entire deck. So this is a really elegant way to do this. Um, most people you know, that are sharing deck lists are actually taking pictures of this or sharing the deck, the link. Um, you can easily just boom, click this to copy the link and send it to anybody you want, as long as it's public, right? And you can see the history of changes here. Um, just a really great website. And then if you wanna try and test the deck out, you can actually click this button right here and it'll open up a link to Force Table, which I'm going to talk about in a future video, which is a way you can play against an AI. Um, so it automatically imported the deck. I'm gonna select player one, which is me, and then select a deck for the AI. I'm gonna pick Boba, select player two, and then you can actually just start playing against an AI. The AI, the AI does make a lot of mistakes. Um, but this is a great way, uh, so the AI mulligan here. So you can just go ahead and start playing the deck you built. And what's really exciting too is you can also have your own collection here. Um, you can do a CSV import. Uh, you can choose the set you want to pull from. And there's a way to actually do this. I think download an example CSV file. So you can download an example file and figure out how you want to do this. So you can manage your collection here as well. Like I said, the official website is going to get improved over time, but this is a great way right now to just build your first deck, look at the cards that are available in your favorite leader, in your favorite base, and get started. Um, it's what got, when I found this site, it actually got me into playing online, and I'm gonna do a future video on how to get involved into the community of Star Wars Unlimited. But both the links to both of these sites are down in the description. If you liked this video, and if it was helpful, please like and share it with anybody that you're trying to get into the game with so you guys can start building decks as well before the game even comes out and just get excited. Pre-release is this weekend. There's a lot of anticipation and I'm very, very excited. I'm going to be filming. Um, I'm going to be doing like a review of pre-release at my local game store uh, and taking videos and asking people what they like about the game, what they think about the game. So be, be on the lookout for that on probably Sunday or Monday. Uh, but anyways, thank you. Subscribe in the bottom and check out the links below.